Christmas trees can bring a lot of holiday cheer. They can, but for many, they can also bring unwanted guests into your home. Guests you can't even see. Jade Cunningham explains. I like medium and smell good. Christmas tree lots have been busy over the past week with people trying to find that perfect tree. And once it's found, there's nothing better than bringing it home and decorating it with some cheer. But for allergy sufferers, there's nothing worse. Some may think it's the tree that's causing the sneezing, watery eyes, and persistent coughing, but it's actually what's hidden in the crevices and branches that can make this joyful part of Christmas into a tremendous pain. So a lot of people are allergic to the oleoresins and the sap, and certainly that does get in the air. <laughs> Tulane Associate Professor of Allergy and Immunology, John Carlson, says bringing a tree inside is bringing in more than just Christmas spirit. There can be dust, insect and animal droppings, and pesticides that can all trigger allergic reactions. Chemicals used in flocking or adding colored snow are a snow friend for allergies either. The biggest culprit, though, pollen and mold. In 2011, researchers at SUNY Upstate Medical University found 28 different Christmas trees with more than 50 types of mold on them. And in warm climates like your house, those spores can continue to grow, which is no clause for celebration. Most of that mold will not get into the air, but anytime you're moving the tree, anytime you're bending branches to lean in to water it, you can send a shower of spores and hypey into the air. And that's not terrible for you unless you're allergic to the mold. So what can you do? Before bringing your tree inside, shake it or use a leaf blower to get all loose debris. Wearing a KN95 mask while setting it up can also help. If available, white firs, Leland cypress, and eastern white pine are said to be more allergy friendly. Though Carlson says a tree is a tree and mold will make its ho ho home on any of them. He also adds spraying it with water is never a good idea. Mold thrives on decaying material, particularly when it's moist. So if you try to wash your tree, you're really adding moisture to that dead plant material. The mold is going to love that. So as we get ready to rock around the Christmas tree and make this one unforgettable holiday, take a few extra precautions, ones that may help make it merry and bright for all. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. <laughs> This is where I'll talk about this is why you need a fake tree. She also she needed stuff. to water a real tree. I, yes, you're going to burn your house down. Yeah, I heard about that too. All right, so artificial <laughs> trees are a good option and they can also last a long time, but again, they can collect dust and they can collect mold. So you have to make sure it's cool, stored in a cool, dry place in an airtight container in between use. This is I, ridiculous. I keep mine in the box.